What? What else is there left to do? Your credibility has been all but ruined with this forged evidence you were unaware of. Emma Sky found out she's she unwittingly caused a man's death. And now you're telling me you want to do more? You've gotta You've gotta be kidding me, pal. You're missing the point, detective. Lana didn't murder Detective Goodman. She merely stuck a knife into his dead body. That means the real killer is still out there. Exactly. What? And we're going to expose him. No matter what it takes. This case has hurt too many people. It's time to bring it to an end. February 25, 12.52, District Court, Courtroom Number 9. Court will now reconvene for the trial of Miss Lana Skye. But still, why though? Why did Chief Gant do it? I mean, I, I'm pretty sure that it is Chief Gant, isn't it? But why? What's the reason? Mr. Edgeworth. Yes, your honor? The inquiry committee is planning to impose harsh penalties for your actions. Thank you for the news, your honor. Yes, well... <coughs> Normally, this is where the prosecution calls forth a witness. But, uh... <coughs> <coughs> this isn't easy to say. You see, there is some concern that you, Mr. Edgeworth, may have uh, struck a bargain. You think I may have manipulated the witnesses? I didn't say that. It's just, you see, everyone has been talking and... Very well, Your Honor. I have a solution. A solution? That being the case... The prosecution will allow the defense to call forth all further witnesses. What? But there's no pres precedent for what you're proposing. Undeniably, this is an unusual arrangement, but a, I, but a very effective one. It would prove that I haven't struck any deals with the witnesses. <sighs> well, Miss Wright. What do you say? Unbelievable. Edgeworth has found a way to continue the trial. Very well. The defense accepts the prosecution's proposal. Then it's settled. The uh, defense may now call forth the new next witness. Miss Wright. You do realize this is your last chance. If you call the wrong witness, his trial is as good as over. The defense calls, oh no! The time's finally come to bring out the real murderer. Okay, well, then it's kind of obvious. It's her, no, I'm just kidding. Damon Gant. Damon Gant. The defense calls Damon Gant to the stand. D Damon Gant? What does he have to do with anything? As the defendant's partner two years ago, Mr. Gant has first-hand knowledge of the crime. I feel we should hear what he has to say about it. Hmm. As luck would have it, it should still be in the courthouse. He would also be the least likely to have been manipulated by me in any way. Wouldn't you agree, your honor? True. Alright, bailiff, please escort Miss Gant to the stand. Witness, please state your name and occupation. What is this? Some kind of practical joke? I was just on my way to lunch. 
Your name and occupation, sir. Worthy. Are you sure you want to do this? Your name and occupation. So, you want to play hardball, eh? P please, Mr. Gant. Fine. My name is Damien Gant. I'm the acting chief of police. Now then, Chief Gant, the court requests to hear your testimony. Oh, righto. What's with the grim face? First, let's clear up this SL9 incident. Oh, you mean the time when Lana's sister murdered that prosecutor? Personally, personally, I think it's been made pretty clear already. There are still some things unaccounted for. Oh, like what? Like the role you, you played in all of this. Son, either you're very brave or very foolish. You are aware, of course, that a police chief has all kinds of weapons at his disposal. Weapons? Sure. Take my testimony, for example. I don't have to give it if I don't want to. What? Is that true? I'm afraid so. The chief of police has the right to refuse to testify. What? What are we supposed to do then? Of course, such an action carries with it certain risks. Don't worry. I'm not here to hinder your trial. Just remember. If this turns out to be a big waste of time, don't say I didn't warn you. Very well. The witness may now begin his testimony. Oh, okay. That's a nine incident. As I recall, Neil and I was questioning him that day. To make a long story short, we slipped up. That power outage didn't help either. When I went to my office, I found Lana there. Apparently she had already arranged the crime scene. As you can see, I had nothing to do with the forgery. <laughs> Is that when Darky was arrested? Him? He was lying on the floor unconscious. When Emma sent Neil flying, it seems Darky bumped his head. I see. Everything seems pretty clear cut. If the police chief has the right to refuse to testify, then I'd better hit him hard and fast. Hmm. As I recall, Neil and I were questioning him that day. As I recall, a ceremony was held at the police department that day. Yes, that's right. I guess you could say I'm a workaholic. After winning his award, Neil was all fired up too. That's probably what spooked Darky and made him run away like that. Was the defendant Lana Sky also present in the room? I don't quite remember. At the very least, she wasn't there when Darky ran for it. To make a long story short, we slipped up. That power outage didn't help either. So the two of you ran immediately after him, right? That's right, but Darky made it to the elevator first. So Neil and I split up. But here's the thing, power outage? Like there is no electricity, how could he take the elevator then? That doesn't make sense. He went upstairs and I went downstairs. I guess you could say he got lucky. What's this about the power outage? Oh, that. The elevator stopped all of a sudden. And I got the shock of my life. Well, probably not as shocked as Neil was when that knife went into his heart, though. That's not funny. When I went to my office, I found Lana 
there. Oh shit! 